Hello yogis and welcome to today's class. Today's session is a little bit more of a yoga drill session. I'm gonna run you through a few stretches, a quick sequence to get you into your splits if this is one of your goals. I know there's lots of ways out there to get into your splits and most of them are really great, but I also know that a lot of information sometimes can be almost too overwhelming and we don't even know where to begin. So today I'm gonna run you through my favorite stretches and if you continue to do that flow, best case scenario, daily, you will be in your split in no time. If you have blocks at home, get them now, or anything else like a book that can help you a little bit as a support for underneath your hands. All right, let's start in our downward facing dog. Hands down, bums up, heels down. Take a moment here, taking long deep breaths into the stomach, into the chest, and adding in as many body wiggles as you wish to. Maybe it's morning for you, because this is when you started to add in your stretches. So just use it to wake the body up and to connect with yourself. Beautiful. Then from here, walk your big toes towards another at the end of the yoga mat. Lift your right leg up towards the sky. Keep your hips neutral. Press your left heel down towards the floor. Then curl your right knee into your chest. Draw chin towards chest. Round over your wrist and step that right foot down towards earth. Drop down onto your left knee and come up into a low lunge. Place your arms beside your ears. And then very important here, come into neutral position through your powers. Squeeze that butt. From here, sink down towards your right heel. And then come back out of it. Inhale. Exhale, sink a little lower. Relax your shoulders and your face. Inhale, come back out. Exhale, lower hips down towards the heel. Keep your pelvis neutral. Feel most of the sensation in the front of your left hip. Let's go down one more time. And then this time, stay here and simmer a little bit. Let your hands come into your hips and use your arms and your hands as a tactile feedback for yourself, checking if you're not getting too much depth out of your lower back, but it really comes from opening through that hip flexor. Also see if your hip bones are really sitting beside each other. Breathe into that left hip. Stay here for two more. And one more. Ah, beautiful, then come back out of it. From here, let's come into half split. Bring your hands beside your hips. Start to straighten your right knee and flex your right foot towards your shin bone. Coming back into your lunge, inhale. Exhale, hinge from the hips, keep your spine straight, really important here. Forward tilt through your pelvis. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, hinge from your hips. You can even have a micro bend in your right knee, that's totally fine as long as you work into that pelvis tilt. The last one, inhale, come back up, and then let's find our static hold here as well. So you're more than welcome to drop your hands underneath your shoulders so you can support yourself and then keep on working into that forward tilt. So it's almost like you want to arch your lower back and you want to lift your sit bones to the back of the room. So instead of this, curling under, rounding, maybe having the leg straight, I'd rather have your knee bent but being able to uh, come come into that arch shape through your lower back because this will help you to really lengthen it into the hamstrings what we will need later for our splits. Add in breath as always. Stay here for one more. Exhale out. Beautiful. Then from here come back on um, your hands and your right foot. Lean into those two. Bring your left leg uh, across the yoga mat and then sit back down behind your left leg. Straighten your right leg, right heel in alignment with your right hip, left foot closest to the inside of your right thigh, and then let everything face forward. Bring your arms over your head with a breath in. With an exhale, come into a forward fold over that right leg. As you fold forward, pay attention to your chest and try to get that chest over your right knee. So it's not on the inside of your leg. Here, we're gonna go more over that leg. Hold on to something that's in your reach and use that to assist yourself for more depth. Inhale to back off. With an exhale, see if you can come a little lower over that right leg. Do that two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop a little lower. Your last one, inhale to lift. Exhale, come in now, stay where you are. Working again on the sensation in your hamstring by lifting the sit bones almost off the floor towards the back of the yoga man. 
Just as a side note here, if you have issues with the so-called yoga butt, which is like a shooting pain at the very top, almost at your sit bone, coming from your hamstring, this is something you really want to avoid and you don't want to do because it plays right into that and aggravates it. <laughs> Stay here for one more breath. Well done, and then release and come back up. Cross your right chin in front of your left, roll over your legs and step it back into downward facing dog. Pedal your feet here. You might notice already a difference between the left and the right side. Connect the big toes at the end of the yoga mat. Float your left leg up high to the sky. Keep on pressing your right heel down as you move. Then curl your left knee into your chest, round and step your left foot through between your hands. Drop your right knee down towards earth. Come up into low lunge, arms beside your ears, pelvis neutral. And then sink down towards your left here. Let's stay dynamic first. Inhale, come up. Watch that right hip, bring it with you. Exhale, sink low. Come back up, in. Two more, exhale, sink. Last one, in. Exhale, sink. And even though the cue is sink, feel how actually lifting at the same time through the fingertips upwards brings more length to that hip flexor stretch as well. So it's not just all about grounding, sinking, but at the same time lifting. And with that, we really target the whole fascia chain and we get into our splits just a little more cool. efficient and faster. Stay here for another two. One more breath. And then reset and come into your half split so you hinge from our hips again. Come in all the way to the back of the room. Place your hands beside your hips as early as well. You can have a micro bend in the left knee. Let's stay dynamic for our first four. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Notice how that left hamstring is getting softer and softer. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. And then stay here, support with your hands, maybe shuffle around until you find that sweet spot. Find some sort of activation between your inner thighs as well, pull them towards another. Lift your sit bones to the back of the room, tilt your pelvis forward. Something else you can do that really helps to marinate the hamstring on the left side is pulling the left heel to the right knee. It doesn't appear from the outside, so it's invisible, but internally you feel the energy pull towards another. And with that, the stretch travels a little more into the hamstring belly, which helps later. Stay here for one more breath. Exhale out, beautiful bend into your left knee, frame your left foot, pour all of your weight into your two arms and that left leg, bring right leg across and then sit down behind your right heel. This time you're gonna straighten our left leg, have the sit bones beside each other, spine nice and extended, bring your arms over your head, inhale and then come into a forward fold over your left leg. Reach for the opposite wrist. If you have the mobility to go even deeper, if this is far, far out of your range, that's totally fine. And you could also hold just the back of your knee or anything in between. Stay grounded through your right knee and your right sit bone. And imagine rolling the inside of your right thigh up. That helps as well. Beautiful. By now you should have finished your four undulation breath with the spine and just sink into your deepest forward fold here. See if you can create even a little more length by flexing that left foot, mm, lifting the left sit bone or both of your sit bones. Stay here for one more breath and then release. Come back out of it, cross left chin over your right, roll over your legs, step it into a downward facing dog. Uh, let's flush it out just with one vinyasa, come into high plank in, low plank X, pushing forward and upwards, in, in downward facing dog, exhaling out. Lift your right leg up high to the sky. This time open your hips, bend your right knee and pull the right heel over to the left sit bone, squeeze even more into your butt to let the hips shine over to the right side without dumping into your left shoulder plate, stay lifted. And then rotate your right leg around, step it to the outside of your right hand, 
and come down onto your left knee. Tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your butt, reach with your right arm behind you. You can just work here, drawing the navel towards the spine, sinking the hips down to the floor. If you have the flexibility for it, let your left foot come up towards your mm, hand, your right hand, and bind. So you will notice the more you pull the heel in, the more in intense it will feel in front of your left hip. And you want to find the sweet spot here where you're still able to keep the left hip open, so not bent, you don't sit back with your heel and your hip. You stay open, but at the same time, you don't start to overarch and try to sink by loading up your lower back. Stay here for another two breaths. One more breath. Beautiful. Let go of that left leg. Lift that left knee off the floor and then just turn around. You're going to go into a wide-legged forward fold. Maybe almost pitching toeing the toes closer than the heels. Hold the back of your legs. And then from here, just start to come into your forward fold. Have your quads activated. So really feel how you're pulling your kneecaps up towards your hips and then lean a little bit more into your toes so you feel how your hamstrings are getting elongated here in the inner parts of your hamstring too. <laughs> Stay here for another four breaths. Take the, the strain out of it, come into half lift, turn over to the other side. So your left foot is now in front and your right knee can ground. And then reach with your left arm around and behind you. Work on the straight line in the front of your right hip. Draw your navel towards your spine though. So there's no leaking energy out of your stomach. From here, my, maybe that right leg can come up and you can pull it towards your sit bone. Most of the sensation for this one you really want to feel in your quad and in the front of your right hip. If you feel it somewhere else, wiggle around, <laughs> do all the checkpoints until you feel it really there. And then use your breath. Breath always can you take a little deeper than you think you can. It also silences the mind, which is beautiful because. Yeah, when you stimulate our physical body, our emotional body gets automatically stimulated as well, and this can be a bit overwhelming sometimes. So use your breath to calm. Wonderful. Then let that go. Come all the way back around so you're facing your original side again, and then bring your blocks if you have them close by. In between, step it back into downward facing dog. Ooh, legs are feeling so much better already. <laughs> Beautiful. Now let's lift that right leg up again to the sky, inhale. Curl it into your chest and step it right through between your hands. Come onto that left knee, come up into a low lunge first, inhale. And then from here, find your half split. Right leg is straight, hands are on the block to begin with. Beautiful. Let your belly drop, arch your back. With an exhale out, round. Lift that right foot off the floor and kick it forward a little bit. So we're working our into our splits block and hands come with you. Sink into it, arch your lower back, let your belly drop. Then round, maybe even that much that you can lift that right heel up and then push it further forward. And then see where you're at. See if you like that, maybe this is your end shape and you don't want to go any further. And that's totally fine and use the support you have underneath your hands to Create some sort of comfort. I mean, it is discom uh, discomfort we experience, definitely. But, but support with your arms so much that you can still remain soft in your shoulders and your head. So it's not all clenching up. And then see where your breath takes you. Maybe there's more for you. And you can glide even deeper into a split. Still feeling free to support with your hands whenever you have to. Stay where you are as I run you through another option. So at some point you might find yourself in the in-between. It can feel nice then to have a block or for that one even a pillow would work. Popped underneath your thigh. So you can experience the full split without your hands having to help. 
even then when you don't have the range yet. So this is a great way to get the first taste of, oh, I'm in a split. <laughs> All right, I hope I distracted you long enough. So let's stay for another two. One more. And then use all your arms and all awkward movements you have to do to get back out of it. Whew. Be here on all fours and circle through your hips. And then let's move over to the other side. Let's start with our favorite downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up high to the sky in. Curl it into your chest and step it through between your hands. Right knee goes down to the floor. Come into half split, hands down. Don't push too far too quick, you have the time here. So here, trip, drop over your leg first, then lift and round, lift your left heel up and push it forward. Follow with your hands. Fold over that left leg, and round, lift. Lift your left leg, push it a little further forward. Just as a side note, when you go into a split and we don't have the flexibility right now, or quite yet, often what happens is that that right leg rolls out and the hips open. Try to avoid that. So I'd rather have you not been as slow, but the hips facing forward, toes and knees facing downwards than the other way around. Otherwise, you just make it harder for yourself when you can go lower and you have that wrong pattern in your head. Where are you at? Stay and breathe. Or maybe... There is even more for you and you can go a little deeper. Finding your calm, your innocent. Two more. One more. And again, helping with your hands as much as you have to to get out of it. Beautiful. Come just into one more down work here and then circle your hips up in the sky one way and another. From down door, come into high plank in. Drop your hips down. Oh, give them back to yourself. Beautiful. And that's it. Like I said, there are many, many different ways to progress with that goal, but this is definitely one way to get deeper into your splits. Be good to yourself, don't overdo it. Let your ego out of this practice. Have fun as you do it and don't push past a point you don't feel too comfortable with. Thanks so much for joining in. Let me know how you go with your progress and see you soon. Bye bye.